What's going on guys? Back again today with another video. Um, today we're back because all my cars are broken. Hooray! Um, the Miata's broken still. The O2 sensor's not reading properly. I've been talking to AEM about that and we're gonna hopefully get that fixed sooner or later. I've been doing a lot of that stuff off camera because it's a lot of fiddly stuff that isn't really that interesting to film. Um, essentially what the wideband's doing is it's sending its output signal to the ECU and the output signal for whatever reason when it's connected to the ECU is just lost in the abyss and turns to zero volts. When you disconnect it, it outputs properly, so I'm thinking it's a grounding issue, so I'm going to keep playing with that a little bit more and hopefully try to figure something out. If not, I've got a replacement to test out and see if it's just the sensor is just blown. Um, next up, we also have my Forester, which is my daily driver, which really kind of crummy, kind of crummy timing for everything right now with me trying to get the Miata fixed. Um, basically, it feels like the turbo is going out on it, um, loss of power the other day when I was driving it home from my parents' place. So we're going to be pulling out the turbo today, so that's probably mostly what this vlog is going to be about. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Um, essentially it's just been eating lots of oil and it like is a little surgy on power. So I did a quick boost leak test and I didn't really find anything that was like, oh my god, this is terrible with that. So next step is to pull out the turbo and test the shaft play on it. So let's go ahead and get started on that one. First up, the recirculation valve. Okay, so real quick guys, just a quick recap. I went down below the car and disconnected the dump pipe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so make sure you guys take time and when you purchase the car and don't rush into it. Could end up with junk like what I got. Um, I made this mistake and I found this rat's nest of wiring back here that's just all chopped up and not factory at all. And that's kind of a bummer when it's your daily driver. I'm also having troubles getting one stud off of the turbo, but that's pretty normal. So if we come over here and look at it, right there, if it'll focus. It'll focus, we're having troubles getting this one stud off right here. Um, so I may just have to get in there with like a Sawzall or an angle grinder and just chop it off so you get the downpipe off to get the rest of this turbo off. But pretty much our compressor side is all disconnected from the air plumbing and the downpipe is basically disconnected with the exception of that stud and then it has to be shimmied off. And then we've got three bolts connecting it to the up pipe. And then we just have to pull the coolant and oil line. Okay, so there's only a few more bolts left now that the downpipe's out and on the ground. Um, feeling the turbo from the back, it doesn't actually feel like there's much play in it at all. So that might be a good thing, but it doesn't really explain why my car feels like it's down on power. Um, unless, you know, the recirc valve is just stuck open or something else. So we'll keep pulling it off, but basically all that's left... Sorry, my neighbors are being obnoxious right now but basically all that's left is going to be the three bolts left on the turbo holding it up to the up pipe, the coolant lines, the vacuum lines for the blue, uh, the, <clears throat> the wastegate, and the oil drain and feed lines. So, 
let's go ahead and get to work on those. Okay, so here's our wastegate right here. Now we need to disconnect like this vacuum line right here, which runs to the wastegate and the reference port. Right over here, you've got one of your coolant lines, and I believe on Subarus, the other one's right below it. Yep. And then you've got your oil feed right there, so we'll disconnect that. And then we've got to disconnect the oil feed from the side over here, and then we have to get to the oil drain. So that'll be the fun part. So I'm going to probably just do that real quick off camera. And then we'll pull these one, two, and threes on the back side for the up pipe bolts. And we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay, so got the turbo out. Here it is. As you can see, there's a lot of grime buildup right here, which is usually due to oil being leaking somewhere, um, which is most likely where most of my oil went, to be honest, because this car has been leaking oil. You can see some residual marks right down here from something eating it away. If I had to guess, probably oil of some sort. Um, because it's not coming down from the ports up here where the coolant ports are. So I'm going to probably grab a pair of snap ring pliers, see if I can pull the compressor housing off. Um, if we take a pair of pliers and we grab this input shaft, it has a decent amount of play. See? Which, it doesn't feel like a ton, but it does sound pretty loose in there. You can kind of hear it making some sort of contact. So this thing might at least be due for a rebuild, but I have a feeling that this turbo might just be toast. But let's pull it apart and find out. Look at this, it's got a decent amount of play, so it at least needs a rebuild. You can hear the bearings clattering around in there, and I don't know if this is a journal bearing or what kind of bearings in this, but most likely journal from the age of it. Um, we look inside here, and this really doesn't look too bad, other than all of the dirt. So I might look into rebuild kits or possibly just buying a whole new turbo for this car. So I might do that and I know this car is due for a timing belt change. So those might be at a later time and I might do all that stuff at one point together. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Um, the turbo most likely needs a rebuild. I'm going to need to look into it a little bit more make sure that that's like an acceptable amount of tolerance or not, but it seems a little sloppy and a little clattery to me. So it may be worthwhile just doing a rebuild since I already pulled the turbo out. Um, so I'm going to have to order parts for that. So this is probably about where I'm going to end the video today. Um, I know I was talking about doing some work on the Miata, which I'm going to do and I'm going to film. Um, but I might put it in a different video just so I can put out more videos more regularly for you guys um, Since I am not a full-time youtuber and I can't afford to Take every single day of my life and go and make a video for you guys um, I do work a job that takes 40 hours a week. I do have a wife. I do have two dogs I've got you know a bunch of other stuff on my plate, so 
Um, you guys just might get more frequent, shorter videos. Um, I'm gonna try, I really, really want to try to get on a twice a week schedule. Um, so anyway, links down in the description. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey guys, it's David from The Significant Future, hence the massive wardrobe change. Um, I forgot to film an outro for this video, um, and I was sitting down editing it right now, uh, got home from work. Um, so that day was a lot of struggles for me, um, had a lot of challenges, a lot of bolts were stuck, but that's just really common when you're dealing with exhaust components, and I've never taken any of this car apart really, because I haven't owned this car for very long, and it's my daily driver, so not much intention to modify it. I did film back-to-back -back videos, so it, you know, I just really wanted to roll into the next video, which um, is big news for you guys. I'm super excited. I'm really excited to share that project with you guys. Um, it was something I've been needing to do for a long time that I've kind of just been really putting off, which is really bad on me for doing it. Um, but anyway, you'll see that next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, like that video, comment, subscribe, um, all that fun stuff. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. Uh, that's it for now. Peace out. See you guys next time.